What is going on guys? This is the Tennessee Innkeeper YouTube channel. My name is Trey. Thank you for joining me in this video and on this unboxing of the Tar Heel Ants Fortress. This is a nest that I've been wanting for a very long time and I got a new tripod and a new setup so uh, please just pardon if the uh, camera gets shaky. It's just me trying to adjust the camera to make sure that I get the best angle for you guys to see the nest and all of its glory because this is an awesome nest. So guys without further ado let's just jump right into it we'll see you in the video so since this is from Tar Heel Ants I'm just gonna go ahead and open the box off camera I opened it a little bit to get some of the packing peanuts out of the way because to be honest I hate fighting with all of the packing peanuts let me move my chair closer so with every Tar Heel Ants purchase you get a little bag that includes a lot of little accessories here's one of the bags that came with the Tar Heel Ants Fallen Fortress or oh my gosh guys I don't even know what product I'm unboxing and I'm the one who's making the video and I wrote the title. <laughs> this is what came with the Tar Heel Ants Fortress. Now I didn't get the Fallen Fortress because my Formica Palade Pool of a Colony is going in this uh, nest and I only chose the Fortress because A they had one that was available f that was ready to ship and B I don't have the desk space for the Fallen Fortress. Now the good thing about the Fortress is it is the exact same type of nest as the Fallen Fortress. Uh, just obviously the Fallen Fortress is horizontal and the Fortress is a vertical nest. Now with every Tar Heel Ants nest you get one of these, a nest mate. As you saw me putting together it was a syringe. And this is pretty cool. This did not come with my mini hearth or anything but here's a little mini feeder dish. Uh, it's probably hard to see on camera. But yeah that's pretty cool. And then here's one of my favorite things that I've always seen in a video, but I uh, never thought to order from. So this is a uh, liquid feeder. And as you can see on the camera, let me try to get to focus, that little mesh there, that is where the liquid sits and the ants can drink from it. Now, uh, it's pretty small compared to other liquid feeders, but this is like perfect almost for getting the job done if you don't have a larger liquid feeder such as something from Ant Shack or Biformica. Or a custom one. You can always 3D print them if you have a 3D printer. I have one now. Now, one thing I noticed about the Fallen Fortress is these stoppers. There's three of them, but two of them are different sizes uh, than the other one. This one's bigger. Sorry if I'm out of camera. Again, new camera setup, new everything. I live in the desk. Uh, so that's pretty cool, and I will get to uh, trying to figure out what that is for. I have a feeling I know what it's for but uh, we'll get there soon so and another thing while I'm thinking about it the thing about the Fallen Fortress and with most Tar Heel ant nests you can get custom hole sizes for your vinyl tubing for the nest so if you have larger species you can in fact get the holes that you would connect like your test tube or vinyl tubing to get your ants into the nest you can actually get that custom size just leave a note for Mac to know what size you need uh, I just got the standard size holes I don't know what it is off the top of my head. Future Trey, please remember to put that um, in the video so that way viewers at home will know what's going on. So I can't get all the foam off of this, but I want to show you guys how well packaged this is. Now, with my mini hearths, I was not able to show you guys how well packaged these uh, products are, but here's what it looks like packaged. That is a lot of uh, packing plastic. I am actually going to have to try to remove all this so uh, really quick the Fallen Fortress does not come with this what this is is it's a red plastic piece so you can uh, view your ants and them not know you're really there unless of course you shine a light on them that would be really the only way they know you're looking at them uh, but this goes on and now this nest I believe is a 4x4 four four nest and then obviously with the Outworld it is a 4x I believe 8 nest future tray again please correct present tray uh, <laughs> if he is wrong so I actually got a ready to ship one which means that this nest was already made and it was just ready to ship so you buy it on the website and within two to three business days it ships um, I'm currently trying to get the plastic off of this nest and oh my gosh it is so much plastic like literally so much plastic like there's one layer oh gosh I might have to go get a knife. I 
as you guys can tell, they are very good with their packing. Uh, they do not want your product to get damaged during shipping because nothing's worse than uh, needing to move your ants into a new nest, especially one that's larger, if it's broken. So I believe we're down past the uh, <laughs> packing plastic and we're now to the bubble wrap phase. All right, this is where things get intense. All right, I promise you, we're almost through it. Sorry if this is very loud, I did not optimize my microphone or anything. I just got home from vacation. So if it's really loud and clippy, I am sorry. Voila! Here is the fortress. And guess what? It's in even more plastic. As you can see though, there's the nest. So this is the step up from the mini hearth. And I will actually show in this video the mini hearth beside the fortress. Now again, this is not the Fallen Fortress. Um, I am just stupid. And I called this the Fallen Fortress at the start. Do not get angry with me in the comments. Promise I know what I'm talking about. Uh, but you may not. Because I like to babble on. So let me get this plastic off before I keep talking. And uh, making myself look like a fool. But while I am doing this, guys... I want to go ahead and say uh, thank you guys for subscribing and keeping up with the channel. Even if you're not subscribed, thank you for checking out the channel. It means a lot. Uh, we are, at the time of recording this, at 80 subs. So thank you all so, so much for that. It means so much that you guys want to keep following me along, or following along with me in this awesome journey uh, that is me on YouTube. Uh, kind of embarrassing myself because sometimes I don't know what I'm saying. Um... I'm trying to do better with uh, production quality and everything, but it's just me, and I'm very new to all this, so I'm trying. I also got a 3D printer, so for those of you who order from me online on Ants Canada's uh, Queen Ants for Sale, if you just so happen to be in the Tennessee area and you order a nest from me, or an ant from me, I'll uh, hopefully have a 3D printed nest for you for your founding colony. So, voila, there we are. Trey's done mumbling. Look at this thing. This nest feels super high quality. Now, I got the museum glass. It was an extra, I believe, $16 for this nest. So, not super bad. And the top of this nest actually comes off. I will show you guys that this nest is really cool with uh, how the top works. So, see, there's two magnets. This is a vent. There is mesh on this. Let's see if I can get this camera to focus if it's not. There is actually mesh on this top that allows for ventilation if you don't want to leave this hole open because what you can totally do is take this top off I believe does this top come off have I bamboozled myself what voilà, I does come off so you take this top off so you can see inside the nest and get in there and put everything in there um, you can take this off and there's a little ring here on the top I tried to focus my camera by poking the lens <laughs> I'm sorry um, and you can put your flu on or whatever amber you have right here around this area and you can just leave the top on it free floating like so on your ant nest if I can get it back on there it's kind of hard to get on there actually let's see watch as Trace struggles to put plastic back together so that is that this is a really good quality nest guys this is the step up from the uh, mini hearth, like I said, and I believe this large stopper, this larger one, actually goes right there. Perfect fit. And you don't want to try to force it in there, you just kind of want it on there because that's not coming off anytime soon. And that's that. So, like I said, this was a ready to ship nest. You can get these custom made to your liking, they have different themes and everything uh, within the settings whenever you go to buy this. And the more things you get, obviously, the more expensive this nest will be. Uh, this is a fairly priced nest. I bought mine right at $100 after everything was said and done with all the features that I got and all the uh, added things. You can get just about anything added to this, I believe, that you could with the standard mini hearth or any other nest. Uh, Tar Hill Ants does a great job with theming. Uh, the color of this nest is bone. So, all in all, this is a great nest. I'm going to be putting my Formica Pallidae Fulva colony in this because they are about to explode out of their mini hearth. Um, and as you can see in here, there is, like normal, a, nest, or a, a water reservoir in there. For your nest mate, you, would, you could either put it in the top here like so, 
for extra hydration or you can even put it in the side I believe right there like that or obviously no no you can't put it on the other side I did not pay attention to that so there's only two holes in this nest one on this side that's if you want to connect a previous nest to this one or to expand whatever have you or to help move them easier and then here on the top which is where I will probably be putting this nest, na nest mate I'm trying to talk too fast guys I'm sorry um, and then on the side here that is what this included syringe is for so there's a really tiny hole right here my lighting is not the best because I don't have the light in the right spot but you would put it in there if I can hit it come on trick there we go you angle it and you would shoot your water in there you don't want to fill these reservoirs up too high you want to only get it about two-thirds of the way there this reservoir I believe is a little deeper than the mini hearts and it actually has a little line in there uh, which is probably where you would fill to I think that's a fill line or maybe that's just how the plastic is made but all in all this is a really cool nest and I cannot wait to put my formica colony in it I will be putting them in there later next year after diapause just for the very reason that uh, they are still in their mini hearth they're doing great and I don't want to force them to move into something so big so quick uh, I noticed that if you do that with colonies that are this size uh, it can sometimes be devastating to the queen and to the workers so with this all aside I want to give you guys another quick update on a colony which is my Campanotus colony my Campanotus Pennsylvanicus as you can see they have moved into a new nest and I did this simply because a lot of uh, people online were saying uh, that they are not ready to move into something so big as such as the ant shack and tower Paris but you notice in the video they moved in just fine they had no issues but the other day I noticed that they were moving all of their eggs into the vinyl tubing that separates the outworld to the nest and I can only imagine they were doing that because either it was getting too hot in the nest too humid or simply because there wasn't enough or there was too much space uh, I went with it was too much space because whenever I attach the ant shack uh, what is it called the hydro nest medium they immediately moved into it it took no time so that is that they moved into a new nest guys uh, I kind of like them in this nest better because the whole black and white theme is super cool so that is that and I'm very proud of them for moving because that means that this other nest is now available and ready for another colony to move into it so guys that's all I gotta say as you can see I've got this uh, plastic piece on here this is the dark screen the red screen some ants can't see the color red so they think it's pitch black obviously it's not but you have perfect viewing pleasure of your ant colony while they're doing their job uh, I don't have it fitted on there down here at the bottom as you can see the magnets aren't lined up right and I don't have the patience right now to try to fix it so guys Thank you for watching this uh, unboxing video. I will have a full review on this as soon as the Formica move into it and as soon as they are uh, comfortable in it because I don't want to record them moving into this nest just to reduce the amount of stress because I will put them in a dark space so they can move uh, and they're not on my desk like my Campanatus were. The only reason I put my Campanatus on my desk to move was simply because I was out of town while they were moving. So guys, thank you so much for watching. My name is Trey. Thank you again for joining me in this uh, video, and we'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All your feedback and comments are appreciated. I read them all, and I try to respond to them all. I don't do a good job sometimes, but I will do my best. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I uh, can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Hopefully, I'll get to show you all my new ants. I caught nine queens today. It was pretty sick. Uh, all of them were fire ants, so I'm probably not going to keep them. I'm probably going to release them, but uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.